right, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? Y'all know it's been a minute, but we've about to get into some really, really serious. This TV show was actually canceled because of the violence. And, you know, back in the days, I wouldn't say that it wasn't, you know, TV really didn't allow, you know, stuff like this to be aired. But the rock TV show was ahead of its time. You know, they were portraying actual events that happen in neighborhoods, in hoods. And you know how these fucking executives are, these these directors and Hollywood is. If it's something real, like what's going on in the black community, they don't like for people to see it. They always like for people to see the negativity what's going on in black neighborhoods, but not the good that's going on. And this show was pretty much about a lot of shit that's going on in the hood, but you had a strong black, two black, well, actually three. You had the grandfather, the father, and the brother. The Rock, his father, and his brother. And I'm not talking about the Rock who you see in wrestling, not that Rock. Y'all gonna know what I'm talking about once you uh, watch this reaction. A lot of you old heads out there, you know, like me, y'all gonna know exactly what I'm talking about with this show. A lot of motherfuckers don't know about the Rock TV show. I'm telling y'all. This show was different. So we're going to watch a scene here. And it's been a minute, so I don't remember anything about this scene. Because the last time I actually watched the TV show, I was a kid. Because this aired in, like, I believe it was the early, night, mid-90s, something like that. I have to go back and check that out. But this is an old show here, y'all. But it is worth watching, I'm telling you. One, if you watch this whole entire reaction and watch what takes place... Y'all gonna be like, damn, they actually aired this shit on TV for people to watch. But they took it off the air. And it was getting better and better. I think after season four, they canceled the show. Like I said, not because of the ratings. They just decided to cancel because it was too much. It was a lot of shit being said about this show. So we finna jump on this, y'all. And I hope y'all enjoy this. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Let's do this. And one of my favorite bad guys is on here. He played in a lot of uh, gang movies. Y'all gonna know who I'm talking about when y'all see him. Let's go. Hey, Jack. How you doing, baby? What do you want? I was wondering if you could tell me how I could locate your brother, Trey. I need to speak to him about a few things. Uh... Shouldn't you know where he is? Doesn't he work for you? <laughs> You know, Jack, you ought to stick to singing and stop trying to be a comedian. I know who he works for. I'm just hoping Trey has a Stay forgotten. out of my face, Andre. You know, Jack, I would hate to see what happened to your brother John happen to your little brother Trey. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's tough when you lose him so young. You know what? Oh, stay away from hey, hey. 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 Easy, Easy, son. Come on. Easy, son. Now y'all see, that's the Rock character right there. That's his name in the show, Rock. Come on. Now y'all know who the bad guy is. No introduction needed when it comes to his character. Y'all already know who he is. If y'all into uh, movies like um, Boys in the Hood and stuff like that, y'all would know about this guy. Or something if you shoot me oh by the way that is pinky y'all i know y'all know who pinky is <laughs> you gotta shoot everybody in this bar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. put it away your ass has been spared again trash man it's the last time Andre Thompson. That's a drug deal I had to run in with last year. Well, what is the bond? Yeah, y'all yeah, gotta check out my reaction to that episode. Rock was damn near about to break his motherfucking head off. He grabbed that man with force through his ass. Like, <laughs> y'all have to check the episode out. And by the way, I want y'all to know the Rock. 
I think he actually served time and real life. He actually went to jail. I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure he did some time. That's, you know, Rock, Rock is no joke, man. I forgot his real, like his actual name. But he is no joke to play around with. Dude was straight hood, man, for real. He didn't play. So it's it's kind of crazy that he brought he brought that character to life because of his experience, because of what he actually went through in life. I'm telling y'all, nothing about this show is fake. Everything you see what's going on, this shit be going on in the hood, y'all. I'm doing hanging out with the likes of him. I don't know. I'm about to find out. <laughs> Hey. Hey, Joey. What's going on, man? All right. What you doing hanging with uh, Andre, man? That's a drug dealer. He's not uh, not trying to sell to you, is he? No, no, man. We're just friends. What's uh, what's in there? Uh, just put all the questions, man. It's take 60 minutes. Devon, you're not working for Andre, are you? Look, all I'm doing is a little pickup and delivery. Come on, man. Don't trip. Everything's copacetic. Look, I got to go. I'll call you later, okay? Devon. I'll call you. Devon, wait a second. Devon. Well, you sure left in a hurry? He's running drugs for Andre, right? Oh, no, man, no. Yeah, I just tried to talk to him. He just ran out of here. Well, then look, Joey, you know how it is. If he's into that drug money, he's pulling down five or six hundred dollars a day. He don't care nothing about music, school, or nothing. He's not gonna listen. Okay, he might not listen to me, but I go down there and talk to Andre my damn self. No, right? no, no, you, you out of your mind? I ain't scared of no Andre. I'm not scared of him either. That's not the point. Mm. Why go looking for trouble that's not yours? Come on, Rock, I'm talking about Devon here. I can't just let this go, man. That's, that's, you know, we grew up together. I helped him get his first horn, man. That's my boy. Well, I know he's your boy, but you're my only brother. And it's Christmas time. I ain't got no bail money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's crazy. They tried to throw comedy into this show. To me, it didn't really, I don't know, you know, like I said, I don't remember a lot, but the comedy part, to me, it just wasn't right for that, because this show was too damn serious, for real, it was, it was too damn serious, and I like the fact that The Rock has his brother back, and, you know, if you grew up in the, in the hood, and you got friends that, you know, uh, started doing drugs, you know, got coked out, whatever you want to call it, on heroin, you know there's no, it's kind of hard to bring them back once they're 100% into it. It's kind of hard to bring them back. Unfortunately, I had a lot of friends that I, you know, I lost to the drug game. And it, it's hard to bring them back. And it, and it hurts to see people you grew up with get on drugs. Because you see them, you know how many people I didn't seen I went to school with? Like, we actually went to, you know, first second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade together, high school together, then I see them 20 years later, they coked out, drugged down the streets, that shit used to shock me when I see them, I mean, they were actual beautiful girls that I went to school with, but when I seen them in my t mid to late 20s, drugged out, and they would say, you know, you see them on the streets, they remember who you are, but you know, you feel some type of way when you see people you actually know get drugged out, it it's a hurtful feeling, y'all, that's why I connected with this, that's why I wanted to, you know, react to it again. Because, like I said, this show was ahead of its time. And I'm telling y'all, check his show out. Y'all will love it. If y'all want to know about real and how the streets really is, check this show out. Rock, think about Devon. No, I'm not thinking about Devon right now, Joey. I'm thinking about you. All right, all right. I hear what you're saying, okay. I got some thinking to do myself. All right. Andre, talk to you for a minute, please. Trumpet man, what's up? What you, uh, having booky trouble? No, 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 nothing like that. Um, this is about Devon. What about Devon? Okay, um, I don't know if you know this or not, but Devon is a hell of a musician. And he just got accepted to the Peabody Conservatory. Andre, that's a, it's a very prestigious school. He needs to be focused, man. He, he needs to concentrate on his music, see? So you, you, uh, see yo, what I'm yo, trying yo, to yo, say, yo, man? Yo, I, yo, yo! Mm. Nix it, man. Mm. You should be talking to Devon, not to me. Devon! What up? Get out!
that scream will get you every time. I'm telling you, if you're not expecting that scream, you're going to probably jump. Because that's how dude is, man. He he got that 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 essence about itself. You know, that that real man. You know, like when you when you young and you had that strong daddy presence, that, that daddy voice you hear. A lot of y'all probably don't understand what I'm talking about. Cause a lot of y'all probably ain't grew up in a household where you get screamed at a lot. But he got that about him, that that, that, that voice that carries, that he, it's like he demands respect. He got that type of voice. Like if he talk, motherfuckers gonna stop in their tracks and listen. Out here. What's up? <sighs> Troy, what are you doing here? He looked drunk. He looked like, just look at him. Now, if y'all think looks, you know, they say looks can be deceiving. Sometimes you really do know what a person is going through just by they look. And once again, if you enter that life and you used to seeing people like that, you know, like it, that look right there, it's nothing but drug use. It's, it's written all over him. They portrayed this shit right to the T. Trumpet man's been bragging about your plan, man. He claims you're pretty good. Vaughn, you got your axe here? Yeah, I got my okay, listen, listen, listen. Go get your horn no, and play something for him, okay? Joe, 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 I know what I'm doing. Go get your horn. Bomb. Go get your trumpet and play something real nice for me, man. Not bad, boy. In fact, that's damn good. No, no, no. That's 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 great, Andre. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't even need him, do you? Hey, look, I don't have a gun to Devon's head. Mm. Devon wants to go, he can go. Devon, listen to me, okay? You got a shot, man. You got accepted to one of the best schools in the country, Devon. Anything you ever dreamed of, you can have now. Records, concerts, everything you ever dreamed of, man. The sky's the limit. But if you hang here, man, you're gonna start using these drugs, man. Then you ain't gonna have no start life. Start using drugs. Mm. <laughs> you know, Devon here is his own best customer. Ain't that right, Devon? Did y'all hear the audience? That's how real this was, man. He is his own best customer. Do y'all know what that mean? Pretty much he sells to him himself. He get the drugs, he do the drugs. He buy that shit for his damn self and do it. It's fucked up, man. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what is he talking about? Tell me, tell me, tell me he's lying. Look, Joy, you're making way tell too much Tell me that man is lying, man. Devon. I got it under control. You got what under control? That's what Charlie Parker and Billy Holiday and Jimi Hendrix and every junkie laying in the street says. Well, maybe they didn't know what they were doing. No, Devon, maybe you don't know what you're doing. Stay out of my business, Listen, okay? I want you to use your hand, Devon, please. Listen to me, okay? You got a shot, my man. You are my business, Devon. Devon. When you get finished out here, I got something for you to do, man. I'm done right now. Come on. Come see what I mean he had a friend that was there for him he know he had a a nice career planned for this man he could have made it he got accepted into one of the most prestigious schools on the show and he decided and that's the thing that's not him making a decisions that's the drugs that's the drugs making a decision and a lot of people don't believe that drugs can actually take over, you know, take control or have you think things that you say. It actually could. That was not Devon. 
That was the drugs. And I hope y'all paid attention to what they were actually trying to, you know, show. They were trying to let people know, you know, drug addiction is really, really bad. It can really take control of your life. And sometimes, you know, the worst possible thing that can happen, which is death. And that's something that you don't wish upon anyone. I'm hoping you two let me uh, put this up. I don't know. Hopefully they won't take it down. But now you see how good this show was. And this was in the 90s. So you know this shit won't play today on TV. It, it's too many people that's judgmental. You know, they... They don't think that shit like this actually happens. They don't want to uh, put this on TV so people can actually see how life really truly is. They ain't going to put this shit on TV today. You would be people demanding to take it down because you had these, these, uh, these family households, these parents who lived them fancy lives, those rich lives, whatever you want to call it, first-class Americans, you know, they have them thinking, no, we, we got to get this taken down. We don't need people to see this because they didn't live that life. But I hope that they decide to put something like this again, which I don't think is never going to happen. Not on TV. This is a TV show, y'all, not a movie. This was TV. You thought James Evans was something to mess around with on Good Times. He ain't nothing compared to The Rock. For real. This is a whole nother level, y'all. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. And if you're a fan, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my content, you know, subscribe. Help your boy get to 10K. Y'all know I'm trying to get there. I'm doing whatever I can possible when I have the time. And that's always. Y'all know what I do. Until next time, peace, love, and deuces.